second teacher video we're going to take a look at this short drama it is just one page titled where's my mummy and then we are going to look at specific lines in this drama and they've given us some details from the drama we have to determine what the character wilbur should do at each of these parts in this performance or this drama and then identify the structural element that they're referring to so first of all let's go ahead and just read through this one time so where's my mummy we have cast of characters, Wilbur, Roy, Glenn, and a mummy. The setting is the inside of a pyramid in Egypt. So two workers, Wilbur and Roy, shovel dirt into a wheelbarrow. Oil lamps light the dark chamber, which includes a mummy's tomb made of stone. Wilbur, shivering. Ooh, Roy, this place gives me the creeps, Roy. What's to be afraid of, Wilbur? Just get to work so we can get out of here. The cover of the tomb creaks open. A wrapped hand reaches from inside. Wilbur, did you hear that? I heard something. He sees the mummy's hand and starts shaking. And now I see something that I really don't want to be seeing. The mummy climbs out of the tomb, moans, and walks toward them. Wilbur and Roy scream. Then the mummy starts laughing. Roy, hey, I'd know that laugh anywhere. Is that you, Glenn? Glenn, unwrapping his head. Pretty good costume, don't you think? Roy, not bad. But what did you do with the real mummy? Glenn, what mummy? There was nobody in there. And just then, a mummy walks slowly toward them from the shadows. Wilbur, Roy, and Glenn scream, turn, and run. Okay. So, again, just me modeling how I would read through this. Again, paying attention to each one of these structural elements. And then, typically, when I'm reading through these dramas, when I encounter one of the characters, I try to give them a voice, right? And it helps me to then differentiate between is this Wilbur talking or is this Roy? So a different voice for each of those characters as I'm reading along just helps me so that I better comprehend what I've read. So now we're gonna take a look over here at this split screen on the side and I see that I'm gonna focus in on lines four, seven, and eight. And I've given these details from the text. I have to tell you or decide what Wilbur should be doing and then identify the structural element. So let's look at line number four right here. The detail that they want us to focus on is this one right here, shivering. So what should Wilbur do? Well, in this case, if I'm the character or the actor on stage in front of an audience and it says right there, Wilbur, shivering, ooh, Roy, this place gives me the creeps, then what should I do while I'm acting on stage? Wilbur should act scared. Now, what is this structural element called? Well this is referred to as stage directions. Let's take a look at line number seven. We're looking at this detail. Did you hear that? I heard something. So let me go down to line seven. This is Wilbur speaking again. Did you hear that? I heard something. Well, what should he do? He's probably going to, if he's on stage, then he's probably just naturally like reacting to the sound that he heard. Wilbur is most likely reacting to the sound he just heard. He's probably not just gonna stand there awkwardly and like with a script in his hand and say, did you hear that? I heard something. He might say, you know, did you hear that? I think I heard something. And he might move his body in a certain way. So the structural element though that we're talking about here, this actual part of did you hear that? I heard something. That is referred to again as dialogue. The actual words your characters are speaking in a drama. Now let's look at line seven. He sees the mummy's hand and starts shaking. That's this detail right here from the drama. So at this moment, what should Wilbur probably do? Imagine again that you're Wilbur and you're on stage. What should he do? Right, Wilbur should start shaking. And the structural element, this is another example of stage directions, telling our actors what to do while they're on stage.
Now let's look at this last detail from the text. In line eight, the mummy climbs out of the tomb and walks toward them. Wilbur and Roy scream. So we're focused in on this part of that detail. Wilbur and Roy scream. So what should they do? Well, Wilbur should scream as soon as he sees the mummy appear. And the structural element that they're referring to, again, is stage directions. Now, the other part that's really important this week, boys and girls, is not just to be able to identify these different structural elements. That's kind of where we're beginning today. But more importantly, we always want to go back to this question right here, which is comprehension-based, or in this example, what's happening in this drama? Can we explain what's happening? Well, I guess that we've got three characters who are working inside of a pyramid. Three characters, Wilbur, Roy, and Glenn are working inside a pyramid when, well, we'll just say period. Glenn decides to dress up as a mummy to scare Wilbur and Roy. He appears from the tomb and reveals himself to his friends. Suddenly, they realize the real mummy is missing just before he appears from around the corner. So again, our goal is not just to identify these structural elements, but really to gain a better understanding of this drama, what the audience is going to experience. Because again, this is different from just reading a text. Today, boys and girls, you are going to read a drama. It is titled The Escape. You're gonna find it in today's folder, and you will have a a graphic organizer very similar to this one that Mrs. Body just completed, and yours will focus on different lines in the drama The Escape. And you're going to be given a detail from that text, and you're going to describe for me what that actor should do at that point on stage, and then also tell me what that structural element is. After that, you will find a question down at the bottom that is very similar to this one, asking what is happening in this drama? Now. All you're going to do is just tell me in your own words, maybe in three or four sentences, what's happening in that drama. If you have any questions, please let me know.